When I get cold, all I want to do is wrap myself up in the fluffiest blanket I can find. But the birds who live in really cold climates, like the emperor penguins in Antarctica, have an even better solution. And today, we're going to investigate it. You'll need some sealable plastic bags, vegetable shortening, a thermometer, a large bowl full of water and ice, and a tablespoon. There's one ingredient here that might have given you a clue about how penguins keep warm. The shortening. Shortening just means fat that is solid at room temperature. And this variety comes from vegetables, of course. Emperor penguins have a layer of fat beneath their skin, also known as blubber. This acts as an insulator, trapping their body heat in and keeping the cold air out. OK, it's time to make our own layers of blubber. Start by adding two tablespoons of shortening to one bag, four to another, and six tablespoons to a third. If you need to use a knife to cut the vegetable shortening, make sure you have an adult close by to supervise, or even to cut it for you. If your shortening happens to be in chunks like mine, squeeze it together to form one even mass. Then turn another bag inside out. Place that bag inside the first one and seal the whole thing shut. Do the same for your other two bags. You should end up with three completely sealed bags that look like this. Use your thermometer to take the temperature of your ice and water. You should find that it reaches zero degrees. Let your thermometer get back to room temperature, then place it inside your first blubber bag and lower it into the ice water. After leaving it in the water for approximately five minutes or so, the temperature's gone down to eight degrees. Do the same thing for both other bags. I found that the second bag reached 12 degrees and the third bag, which had the most shortening in it, had the highest temperature at 14 degrees. You can even test this out on yourself. Put one hand straight into the ice water and the other inside the blubber bag. You should feel a big difference straight away. Take your hands out as soon as they feel uncomfortable. You'll be able to leave your insulated hand in much longer. Well, I don't think I'll be trading my blanket for blubber anytime soon, but I can sure see why it's so useful for a penguin. 